Hey everybody, I am currently in Hazelmere Motorcycles um, because I was just getting them to switch that bearing over on the headstock and I thought while I was in here, why don't I have a look at the bikes they've got in here at the moment because they've got some interesting ones but also to discuss the kind of subject of I can't have the same bikes forever so I have to kind of try and try and think of one bike to replace my bikes eventually so I've I thought why don't I have a look around with that in mind and discuss it a little bit Right, I've switched the camera to linear mode now so you don't get a fish-eyed bike. It's a uh, Royal Enfield Bullet 500. Not old, I don't believe. I think these are pretty, pretty new. I actually quite like the look of them. Not ridden a single Royal Enfield yet. There you go, 18. It's a 2018. Doesn't look like a 2018. That's pretty cool. Beastrom 650, that is a very good option as like an all-rounder bike, but I'm not sure if it's going to hit what I want, personally. GSX-S 950, SV 650, much prefer the old SV if I'm honest. Not necessarily for riding, but for looks, because this is so much more sort of simple and basic, but then that's a good thing about it. Maybe you just don't call it an SV and then I wouldn't make the comparison. <laughs> but of course it's because it's a sports V, I'm guessing that's what the idea of SV was. Of course, the other side about the SVs is the fact you can customise them so much. Like, look, you've got one here with a red tank, a red tank, red frame, white tank, red wheels. And then you've got this brown, if you're into that sort of thing. Not more V-strums. I am yet to ride the Thruxton. That is something I'm going to do at some point. Uh, the next Triumph is arriving in just a few days, which isn't actually that much dissimilar to this, and it's going to be a, uh, am I going to tell you? Sure, why not? I'm getting the Scrambler 1200EX. That's arriving in a few days from now, so obviously review videos and stuff for me out and about is going to resume. Thankfully, I've got a lot of all that stuff I needed to get done, done. <sighs> It'd be quite nice to just get out there and ride a bit. They've got some nice stuff over there as well, I'll show you in a minute. But we've actually also got some old stuff here. Uh, so obviously this is all relatively new, but look what we've got here. We've got a 2008 GSX F650. Not seen one of these for a while. However, people say, you know, you know how people say about how the exhaust is so just ginormous on some of the, the newer Suzuki's like the, the Thousand, uh, and even the Hayabusa for that matter. Let's... Okay, so Hayabusa exhaust, admittedly there is two of them. But you know, it's double the displacement, so look at the size of the cannon exhaust that they put on these back in the day. <laughs> look at it, it's absolutely enormous. So, anyone complaining about giant exhausts needs to just, well, shush. <laughs> Let's be honest, this kind of looks better than some of the newer ones. Like, they went, they go all angular and stuff, but in going angular, you sometimes, and going sharp, you sometimes lose the beauty because this is rounded and smooth and fish-like. <laughs> Continuing on the, the line of like, well, what bike would I get if I was going to have one bike? As you've seen from the bikes I've reviewed, I really like everything, but to fit my needs, it needs to be relatively light and fun. I need to be able to do motorway miles on it. I need to be able to take Reno on it. But I'd also like to be able to take it off-roading, maybe. That's the one that I can, I, I can give that up because I can get something else to do. Well, you know, it's not the most important thing. I don't do it as much as everything else. So I have looked at, you know, street triples, not the speeds necessarily, the streets. Uh, I've not ridden a speed yet. I need to do that. Um, sorry, I'll get back to that because the bikes I'm talking about over there, but look at the Royal Enfield. This, see this? 1938, vintage, only kidding, 08. It looks like a vintage bike. It's so light. Gears on the right, have you noticed here? It's only uh, 3,200 quid. Braking on the left. I really like this. I would love to ride one. Um, but it, obviously that isn't gonna be my one bike solution. Oh, it's a 450 by the way. Um, more Suzuki's. Bergman, Bergman 400. Because the 650 is gone now. It's just the 400s. Is this the new one? 
that the same as one I rode? I can't remember. I thought it was smaller than that, the 400. That looks somewhere between the two. I might be wrong. Indian. But yeah, shall we get on to the, um, this MT-09. Not this particular colour one necessarily. That is one of the bikes that I've considered at this point would be a good all-rounder for me. Uh, you know, could do the motorway miles, similarish position to a supermoto. It's definitely not a supermoto, but it's got, you know, some similarities there. Big enough seat for a pillion, big enough seat for a uh, um, bike for me. I haven't ridden one of these yet, and I haven't ridden the MT-07 either, because I was never able to get hold of one, because the people I used to work with, the Yamaha, just never were able to get me anything, and, and I don't work with them anymore, so... Hey, Yamaha directly, if you want to lend me some stuff, I'll be quite interested in that. Of course, the Tracer is, people will say, well, if you like that, go for the Tracer version, because then you can go off-road. That has got nothing off-road about it. It is an adventure bike, yes. Is it more suited to my needs? Possibly, but it, it's too big and heavy compared to that. And that's also one of the reasons why the, the V-Strims tend to go out. They're just too big for me, to be clear. I have shown this off before. This is another one of the... Um, sheen katanas that they've done custom painted and they've also done that one someone wanted to have a bit of an argument <laughs> in the past and say that they didn't make these and it was someone else that was doing it no this is hazel miss <laughs> as you can see this is all done custom and this is number seven of seven this is the last one i believe not the biggest fan of that livery if i'm honest but if it's something from your your memory then you'll like it maybe giant BMW 1200 RT, 16,000 miles in 11 years. So it's been serviced basically. The boosters. Yeah, here's one of the ones I wanna show you. Um, as you can see here, Hazelmere Motorcycle, sponsor of Nikki Wilson Racing, second in the Morrow uh, Power Bikes Championship 2021. And this is the bike. We should probably do lots of close-ups on this because what well, you might be very interested to know with the sort of setup that they've gone with. Well, not, I'm not trying to give away people's secrets, but you know, the sort of tech that comes in these things. More carbon, more carbon. Pretty stock up here from the looks of it. Um, other than Obviously they've got some extra buttons. Are they to just select the standard modes in this though? Uh, the screen has got a cover over it, which is interesting. Maybe that's just to protect it from, well, if you go down in gravel or something, the stone's just dis destroying your screen. Very weird covers on the grips, I assume. That's just a thing for, for looks in here. Nobody on the road needs these on their bike, okay? I'm just gonna just put it out there. No one needs these on their bike on the road. I'm gonna guess that's a secondary rear brake lever. This actually looks pretty stock with a few interesting changes to it. So I can't really get around this side. Z1000 in, I, I don't like that green, but I can get how some people could. And we've come full circle. And there is a couple of bikes here which some people will lose their minds over. Possibly this one. And possibly this one. So yeah, this is Hazelmere Motorcycles in White Hill. It's not actually in Hazelmere anymore. Um, come down and have a look if you're interested. But as for a one single bike for me, as I say, the MTs seem around the right place, but I guess the same time they don't. I've got to work this one out. I really have to work this one out. What one bike would I own if I had to? Because I'm not going to buy two bikes if there was, say for instance, I don't know, you know, say both of my bikes got hit by a meteorite and I had to get a replacement bike, I'm going to get one bike. I don't know what I'd get. 
It's, it, but anyway, if you've if you enjoyed this little walk around Hazemir, um, thanks to Hazemir for helping me out and stuff, um, hit the like button. Check them out on social media. I'll put some links down in the description. If you're new to this channel, please consider hitting subscribe. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please consider doing that through, through Patreon. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.